today I get to do something that I've wanted to do. Oh, for like, I don't know, 40 years. <laughs> Stay tuned. Welcome back to my third life. So this one's going to be a little bit different content than anything I've ever done before. Sort of. I mean, it's an unboxing video. I've done plenty of those, but it's a different type of product. It's not a comic book. I am uh, in my late 40s, Gen X. And for those of you around my age, you can probably remember looking through catalogs. I remember the days of looking through the Sears catalog and probably Radio Shack, probably a lot of catalogs, and seeing remote-controlled airplanes and remembering how badly I wanted a remote-controlled airplane and how fun it looked to fly one. But, of course, they were really expensive, and to be fair, they were probably actually fairly difficult to fly, especially for a kid. Obviously, we have all these drones these days, and I've bought a couple of small small drones, you know, that you fly indoors, and it was always a lot of fun. And, of course, I've always wanted a bigger one that I could fly outside. And now that I have a YouTube channel, I thought, well, I mean, you know, I could even use some of that video on my YouTube channel. So I finally, and I'm not getting any younger, obviously, so I finally bit the bullet and I bought a drone. So I looked at several different ones online, and so I was looking at a lot of lower-budget models. After looking at a bunch of reviews and, you know, I figured I probably would have been fine with a, with a slightly cheaper model. Um, I'm trying to remember the names of what they were. Obviously, you know, DJI was the, the big one that came up first. They're the, the leader, basically, the industry leader. And I know people have some concerns with them being Chinese. <laughs> but, I mean, pretty much all of them are being made by China. The lowest kind of entry level DJI was like $339, which is, a you know, it's a lot of money, considerable amount of money. Um, and you compare that to like the, the Ruko, was just a little bit less money, like the F11 you get for 300 And then the Potensic was 249 but it had a $40 off coupon on Amazon, so really it'd be like $209. And I really thought about getting that. It's the Potensic Atom SE. But, you know, I've bought enough things in my life where I went cheap and then regretted it. So I just went ahead and, and went with the DJI. So let's open this thing up and see what I got. I actually got this yesterday in the mail. It was here in one day, the day after I ordered it. But it has been, today is August 17th. I got it yesterday. It has been crazy hot in Washington State, like in the 90s all week. And by the time I got this, it was already it was already 90 by like 11 a.m. And I'm like, this room is the only room in my house that has air conditioning. Um, you know, we don't we don't have, especially older houses don't have air conditioning, central air in Washington. I'm sure newer houses are built with that, but. Um, but I have, I have like one of those portable air conditioners. It's in this room only in my studio, <clears throat> but it's really noisy. I mean, I can't really make a video with that on and with it off. It's, you know, hot as hell. So I had to wait till this morning to make this video. So here we go. It's the DJI mini S2 S mini two S E. And like I said, it was $339. 
um, this is what's called an ultralight. It's under 250 grams, so you don't have to register this with the FAA. I don't know a lot about that whole process. I remember in the early days, you know, you pretty much do what you want. And then, of course, the government came in and changed everything, made requirements for doing some kind of online knowledge test and, and registering your drone. And I know there's there's certain rules, like there's a 400 foot rule for elevation, <clears throat> but I don't really know the specifics of that. And um, I mean, maybe maybe one of you can let me know how that how how does that work? You know, does it just you have to follow the contour of the land? If I fly off of the hillside and then. Does it need to maintain, come down and maintain that 400 foot elevation? So I'll have to look into that. But that's what I'm wondering with, with the DJIs and the geofencing, if that's automatic, it won't let you go above that 400 foot. And how's that determined? Is there, is it GPS? How does it know its elevation above ground? Is there some kind of altimeter built in or, or how's that work? There we go. Okay. All right. So we have it's actually a lot smaller than I was expecting. you got to pull off this little tab right here oh that's the battery compartment okay okay so it's got little it's got little pieces of tape like right there and right there and right there so I'm assuming you Pull each one of these little pieces of tape off. I mean, that's pretty intuitive. Now that one did not pull off cleanly. That one actually split. So let's see. I don't want to nick these blades or anything. Hopefully nobody's screaming at their at their screen right now. That's pretty slick though. It's like a little like a little transformer. So I did not get like the fly more, you can get a kit, a fly more kit, which is like two more batteries and a carrying case and et cetera, et cetera. But I didn't do all that. We'll see. I also didn't get, so I bought this on Amazon and of course they offer the Asturian two year protection plan, three year protection plan. And I thought about getting it. I almost did, and then I didn't. But you let me know. Um, have you ever got the Asturian protection plan for a drone on Amazon? And is it worth getting? What's it cover? What, what does it not cover? Um, or is there other protection plans out there that are available that are better than that? Okay, so we got some cables. Uh, just different charging cables, looks like. Little adapters, maybe. And then, oh, it's a little screwdriver. Okay. 
and extra propellers. Well, that's cool. And we have the controller, it looks like, in the bottom. That's actually pretty heavy. Okay. Is that everything? There's got to be some kind of instruction manual. Here we go. Okay. Quick start guide. Safety guidelines, etc., etc. Uh, okay, so let's open up this controller. Like I said, this is uh, this thing's heavier than the drone. This is, I mean, obviously you want <laughs> the thing that's flying to be light, since it has to fight gravity. But this is surprisingly hefty. Okay, I was wondering, so you see, you see this, it's got a little hole in the middle, and you know, most joysticks, gamepad controllers, basically it's a gamepad controller style, um, you would have your little thumbsticks, but it seems like there's something missing, well it looks like, right there, in the bottom of the controller, is where you store, well, that's pretty clever, so these just screw into there, this is pretty well thought, thought out. I mean, DJI's been around a long time, and so far I'm pretty impressed with their packaging, the way everything tucks away, fits in a nice small package. Okay, so now you have your little thumbstick controllers. So that's, that's way cool. Uh, I know this thing pops out, but how exactly? Am I just not pulling hard enough on this thing or what? Yeah, I'm just not. Okay. So it's got a little spring loaded. So you can put your cell phone in there and use your cell phone like I have. Well, I mean, the, my camera is an old spare cell phone. So I could use that, or I have another. I mean, I have, you know, half a dozen old cell phones laying around. I could probably use. And, uh, well, we'll just see. Yeah, there you go. So you just stick your cell phone of choice in there. And then, of course, I'll, I'm sure I'll have to download an app for whichever one I'm going to use, and yeah, that works pretty good. That's cool. It's a nice design. I mean, I will I will charge this thing before I take it out for the first time, but let's just see. So you open this up. It goes like that. Hmm. Okay, this rotates downward. Out like that. Okay. And then I guess there's a little button here on the bottom to check the battery level, maybe. Yeah, it seems like that battery's completely dead. So, let's see. I guess you charge it. Charge the battery inside the Inside the drone, there's not like a separate charger. I think that's what you get in like the fly more kit. You get an actual dock for your batteries, a carrying case, and uh, and two extra batteries. But it was like an extra hundred and fifty dollars. So you know that's that's a bit much for starting out. But all right, well let's get this thing plugged in and charged up. And then we can go fly.